Greetings and salutations folks and welcome once again to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today with little Toby James in a place called Allerton Bywater, which is in Yorkshire. We're in God's country today, Hot Potters. I'm about 20 minutes away from Wakefield and we're just outside of Castleford and Leeds. We're all around that area for anybody who's interested in our geographical location. And I can tell you this, Hot Potters, it's a bloody jacket colder or cowder, as we say over in Lancashire, than Lancashire. It's bloody freezing out there, which is the reason why I'm doing my intro from here inside the car. Now, what we've come to take a look at today, Hot Potters, is a classic British icon. I've come to take a look at a red telephone box. Now, I've featured many red telephone boxes in past videos, and quite a few of you out there enjoy these type of videos. Now, all those telephone boxes have been known as the K6, which was designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott. But today we've come to have a look at a very rare K8 telephone box, which was the last of the telephone boxes to be commissioned for the GPO in the 1960s. There was an ill-fated K7 telephone box, and if anybody out there knows of an example that's working in the UK, good luck with that. Please contact me below because... It didn't last very long, the K7. It was made out of aluminium, and although it was a futuristic design, it just couldn't stand up to the great British weather. It couldn't stand up to being battered by winds and rain, and especially up Yorkshire, I bet they didn't last two minutes. So very quickly, those were withdrawn, and you'll only ever find a K7 uh, in a museum. As I said, if anybody out there does find a, a working example, please let me know and uh, provide links, and who knows, maybe we'll go and have a look at it one day. So for today, we've come to have a look at this K8. Unfortunately, I don't think this K8 is a working telephone. I think it was bought by somebody in that great cull in the 1980s, soon after this British Telecom decided they'd start ripping them out in the late 80s. It was probably bought then, and it's now at the end of somebody's drive. The end of the drive is gated off. We can't go down there, so I'm going to have to put my camera through the railings. So, without further ado, what potters, let's take a look at it, shall we? And here we are, folks. This is an ultra rare. K8 telephone box Now these were designed by Bruce Martin in 1965 I believe and they were commissioned from 1966 onwards by the then Postmaster General which was the late MP Tony Benn and there was about 11,000 of these up and down the UK but with the big cull in the 1980s Sadly, there's only about 54 remaining examples now in the UK. Now, this telephone box here, I don't think that's where it was sighted originally. In fact, there's no telephone in there. Somebody obviously bought it in the 80s as a decoration, and they've placed it at the end of the drive. But it's good to see one that's still surviving. Now, Bruce Martin's original design was to have it all made of aluminium. But there was a K7 that was briefly introduced in the UK and unfortunately it couldn't withstand the British weather so Bruce Martin had to change his design a little bit and go back to the cast iron days of Giles Gilbert Scott there's only the door that remains aluminium and they kept it as aluminium so you could easily open it at the back there'd be a, a foundry makers plate probably the Saracen foundry in Glasgow and then you'd have those big windows the whole idea was to get away from that 1930s style and to bring forward into the then 1960s. And it is a very iconic 1960s design. In fact, I know that the Germans sort of copied that design, or the West Germans did at the time, for their yellow telephone boxes. Anyway, we're going to uh, go and take a look in St Mary's Churchyard now and we'll take a look at the back of this telephone box because unfortunately these days there's a set of gates across the top of this drive to stop people going down there. So here we are at the Lich Gate to St Mary's Church. Above it, the rather ominous words, death, the gate of life. We're going to go through... I'm going to be rather cheeky 
and step over that lawn though to take a look at the rear of this K8 and it doesn't look like whoever bought it and placed it here has repainted it since they purchased it as I say for me back in the 80s there's a the word telephone you can see all the undergrowth at the side of it there and somebody's placed a bag of rubbish inside don't know the symbolism of that warning do not enter obviously they had it themed for Halloween night looks like they put a bit of a padlock though to stop anyone going in it you can see though that the door is indeed made of aluminium and there's about a thousand pounds worth just sat there if they was to sell this now once again the telephone signs at the top I don't know if we can make out the maker's plate there no we can't looks like it's been removed or it wasn't placed on for whatever reason but yeah that's a closer look at a Roar K8 telephone box it looks like the telephone sign in that one's been cracked anyway I'm going to get back to the old jalopy now and we'll wrap this video up phew well that'll just about do it for today folks as you can hear the rain is starting to pitter patter down on the roof of the old jalopy so I'm going to wrap this video up luckily we just got that footage in before the rain started here in Yorkshire Right then, I hope you enjoyed that little look at a classic K8 telephone box which is located here on Vickers Terrace in Allerton Bywater, right at the side of St Mary's Church for anybody who's in this area and would like to take a look at it themselves just remember that it is sighted on private land so take a look and admire it from the public road or the churchyard only like I've done Now apparently the designer of the K8 passed away in 2015 so it's only recently that he passed away and he passed away age 97 that's a good innings by anybody's uh, count isn't it only three away from receiving his telegram from the Queen I don't know if Bruce Martin received a knighthood or anything like that for services to architecture if anybody out there would like to look that up and leave your comments below please feel free to do so I'm Mr H, I'm out of here, I'm going to hit the road now and head back to Wakefield which is where we've come from and where me, little Toby James and Mrs H are staying. So folks, until the next time, from myself Mr H and little Toby James here in a damp Allerton Bywater in Yorkshire, it is. Bye bye for now.